America Tropical is hugely important uh, as one of the last remaining works um, by Sequeiros in the US. Conservation is, takes the long view and our job as uh, practitioners involved in conservation is to make sure that we sustain historic places into the future. Conservation exists because people care about places, they care about integrity, they care about works of art and they need people to care for them, to be their stewards. With America Tropical, it's the work of a great artist. It's David Alfaro Sicaros. And we as conservators can never be the artist's hand. And that's something um, that's very important to us in conservation. We're looking for uh, integrity, to preserve the integrity of the existing fabric, of the existing mural, and authenticity. We want the mural to be authentic. We want it to represent the authenticity of the artist and know that his hand was the one that painted those figures. Restoring would be to try to return that mural to what it looked like the day Siqueiros unveiled it. And it's literally impossible to do that. Uh, we know what it looked like in black and white because those are the only photographs we have of it. So one could attempt that, but we don't really know what the colors really were because it suffered this major insult when it was whitewashed. The first phases of the treatment were to remove any final residue of, of whitewash, any remnants of whitewash. The whitewash had mostly come off by that time, but there were still bits of whitewash in a lot of the crevices of the plaster. So there was an overall surface cleaning with removal of the whitewash and stabilization of the plaster where it had become detached from the wall. Well, this project was really interesting from a number of uh, points of view in conservation terms. Uh, firstly, and obviously, there's the issue of conserving the mural itself. Um, but secondly, uh, in designing a shelter that can span an 80-foot uh, width on top of an existing historic building that sits within the context of a historic streetscape, which has its own character and quality. But in one corner, in, the, in fact the exact corner where one of the columns hit the ground, the Zaha Madre, which was the mother ditch that came from the Los Angeles River to the historic settlement of El Pueblo, sits across the corner of the underneath of that building and it's a really important archaeological relic. And so some quite complex engineering had to be done. So the importance of the project and the way that it's all been framed is actually thinking not just about what needs to be done right now to make it accessible, but also to think about how best to protect it over the next 10, 20, you know, 100 years and ensure that a visitor coming there in 100 years' time can, can come and visit the place and see it in the same condition or as close as possible as it is now. So what we're trying to do now is uh, stabilize this object. Um, we think we've done that completely. It will be sheltered from the elements. Uh, but most importantly, what is left on that wall is Siqueiros' own hand. And that's the most important part of the story. 